talked about the role of the central bank in general and the national payment system in particular. Uh, thank you, Mr. Boop, uh, you know, for having me on the Trust Bank uh, program inside, you know, Trust Bank. Uh, uh, it's a pleasure. Um, uh, the <coughs> legal mandate of Central Bank of the Gambia is derived, you know, from the Central Bank of the Gambia Act uh, 2005. And the primary object of uh, the central uh, bank uh, are one, you know, maintaining you know price you know stability, promoting and maintaining price you know stability. Um, uh, the number two is uh, maintaining uh, the stability in the currency system of uh, the country. And number three is um, <coughs> achieving stability in the financial you know, system. These are uh, the three broad uh, you know, objects um, as defined in this, of the Central Bank, as defined in the Central Bank of the Gambia Act. Um, specifically, as it relates to payment system, again, the Central Bank of the Gambia Act 2005 you know, mandates uh, you know, Central Bank Two, one, um, uh, operate, you know, a payment uh, system, and uh, secondly, to act as the oversight uh, body of uh, the payment system, whether it is operated and owned by central bank or operated and owned by, you know, an independent body as it may, you know, exist in other jurisdictions. That was well said, uh, Mr. Governor, but um, uh, it, it takes us to this question of um, uh, the essence of having a good payment system in the country. I mean, there are so many factors to be considered. Oh, if you like, uh, you know, there are <coughs> many, you know, objectives. But primarily, uh, the key one is if I may summarize it, is yeah. to ensure that uh, there is an efficient, you know, mechanism of payment and settlement in an economy. If I may also break uh, this down, you know, to some uh, few details. Um, uh, one is to ensure that the uh, payment system in the country uh, keeps a minimum, you know, risk, um, uh, as you may know. Uh, payment uh, uh, systems do have in, inherent risks. One uh, key risk is uh, what uh, we call, you know, settlement risks. So the main objective here is to uh, make sure that uh, risks that are faced by economic agents, including the commercial banks, you know, are kept uh, at a, a, a minimum. Uh, fundamentally, this is uh, the main objective of uh, the payment systems. But there are other uh, considerations, uh, Mr. Mbou. Um, uh, uh, let me take it from the angle of the central bank. Um, uh, we have, uh, you know, interest in this in the sense that, uh, you know, an efficient payment system, you know, would allow, you know, an effective implementation of uh, uh, monetary, you know, policy, uh, but um, uh, the commercial banks are in a better position to maintain, you know, uh, the uh, li liquidity and uh, eventually the benefit of um, uh, efficiency, you know, would uh, go to the customers. Having said about the good. Um, all the SNs and the, the good tidings of a payment system. We would definitely like to know the framework, the guidelines um, uh, in really achieving an efficient payment system. First of all, as I mentioned, alluded to earlier, it is derived from you know, uh, the Central Bank of the Gambia Act, that is um, uh, where Central Bank is mandated you know, to uh, perform oversight function of uh, the payment uh, in our, our system. And therefore, um, uh, we have uh, uh, developed 
you know, uh, policies over time. One such uh, policy is to make sure that uh, there are reforms in the payment uh, systems. In other words, modernize, modernize the payment systems, making use of existence of uh, uh, technology to achieve you know, efficiency. And include it, in other words, to support or to achieve uh, you know, the policy objectives. Um, uh, the central bank, in collaboration with the commercial banks, uh, apart from setting up the infrastructure itself, is, uh, or has developed uh, you know, a set of uh, you know, rules and uh, regulations uh, you know, which uh, have been put uh, you know, into, into force. Uh, you know, and the whole idea is to make sure that uh, you know, uh, the system themselves are uh, uh, understood by participants and uh, become efficient. Um, one may agree that um, but it may reduce the, the use of cars. Overall, it may not necessarily be the only objective here, but um, uh, as we move towards maximizing the usage, what is being done to ensure that we explore the full potentials of the payment system and discourage the use of cash? I think uh, I, would, I would take this uh, opportunity really you know, to uh, clarify or to make sure that you know this misconception in the minds of uh, some of uh, the public is, is no more. Um, it is desirable that uh, the use of cars you know is reduced or kept to a minimum. I mean this is uh, what uh, all countries are working to, you know towards. But it is not the overriding, you know, objective, you know, Ms. Uh, Mr. Moore. It is just natural that uh, when you automate payment systems, you expect to have uh, less use of uh, cars. And this is this is important. This is this is uh, in a, a welcome, in a, um, a result or outcome. Uh, what uh, are we doing? Um, number one, uh, the fact that we have implemented, uh, you know, the system. Uh, it creates the opportunity. It makes uh, available, you know, uh, chances, uh, opportunities for uh, players in the economy, the banks and non-banks, even IT uh, enterprises, uh, you know, to, you know, leverage on the existence of these, uh, you know, systems and uh, come up with uh, solutions that would facilitate, you know, payments in this country. I can uh, give you one. I'm sure you are aware of uh, uh, the planned uh, <coughs> deployment of a GAP switch or the national you know, switch, which is another form of payment, um, uh, but uh, targeting small value you know, uh, payments. And uh, once that is uh, fully implemented and integrated with uh, RTGS you know, in this country, uh, we would go a long way in uh, reducing the use of uh, cars. But I really want to emphasize this, that uh, the uh, 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 key consideration is not actually <laughs> to reduce uh, cars. Cars, Mr. Mbou, may still continue to play a predominant role in the payment infrastructure in this country. Yeah. That's quite true, Mr. Governor. Um, the entire objective here is definitely not to totally stop cash transactions or to discourage it. But talking about um, uh, the GAM switch and the RTGS you have mentioned, it, that leads us to how many components in total are we talking about here of the payment system, and then how, man, how, how many of them have been rolled out, and are we looking forward to seeing all the four components that you have mentioned being rolled out before the end of um, uh, or what time period exactly are we looking at? We are talking about, you know, four components. You know. Um, uh, the real-time gross settlement uh, went live a year ago. Uh, so was the automated check, uh, you know, processing and uh, check clearing, you know, system as well. That was the first to go live. Uh, the third is not so much about uh, movement of... Uh, um, uh, cars, 
but indeed it is movement of value, but in the form of you know, government securities or any other uh, securities, uh, which um, you know, is also an 